Okay, so we're still at the Majestic Beach and we're going to talk more sex and porn with the cast of Middlemen. Hello, Love Film. I am joined by George Gallo and Chris Malek. Hello, how are you both? Uh, hot. <laughs> That's great. Now, um, Cannes, the Cannes Film Festival, how does it feel to, to be here and promoting your film? Oh, it feels... It's an honour and it's fantastic. And uh, as Chris knows, uh, I, I'm sort of aviophobic. I haven't flown on a plane in 30 years. Wow. Yeah, so... So how was the trip here? It, it was great. It was yeah? interesting. Yes, I was on uh, you know, pills and vodka, but I got here. Um, so obviously you were here to talk about middlemen. Yes. Can you tell us a bit about the film? Yeah, the film's based on uh, a true story about some events uh, in my life, in my business career, in my personal life, centered over about a seven-year period. Um, a lot of it fictionalized, and, and uh, you know, it was an interesting story. I think to George uh, Gallo as a writer and to Andy Weiss, who co-wrote the script with George, uh, and they uh, they took what were some interesting anecdotal moments of my life and sort of a, of, of a of, of a person's life and made it an incredibly interesting film. Um, and it, I think it's quite interesting because it kind of sort of demystifies the porn industry a bit. It gives us a different kind of side to it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's uh, the film is about the porn industry, sort of the way Wall Street is about stock market. Yeah. It's not really about that. It's about the birth of the internet, which caused, which was so amazing, and there was so much money to be made in this new frontier uh, that anybody could become a millionaire overnight. And some people, as George likes to say, probably that should not have become incredibly wealthy given their uh, proclivities uh, and choices in life. So, um, it's um, it does tell the story of the birth of a of what we now take for granted. Uh, and, and the wealth that that created and what wealth does to people in their lives and how it changes them. And what did you think when you initially read the script? Were you quite shocked, I guess, or were you just surprised? I, I, or? I wasn't. Well, I just was really engaged in the story. Um, I mean, it, it, it was a, a great script. Even even at the first read, so yeah, I wanted it. So yeah, bad. I was like, I want to be a part of this movie. So and then uh, it, it only got better from there, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, in the in the in the, the working on it, the, the the style of direction that George was using, the the freedom that he gave us on set. Um, People have said, and hopefully it's true, that it's 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 made an even better film out of a fantastic script. Sure, yeah. Of all the films that are in competition, ah. are there any ones that you're particularly excited about? Ooh. The Inglorious Bastards. That one looks extremely good. It's cool, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's a lot of hype about, about mm. that one too as well. And um, I believe, uh, is, I'm correct in saying, Antichrist, Lars Von Trier? Antichrist, Lars Von Trier. I, well, I'm a huge fan of his work. Uh, and I would, I, I haven't seen it, but I would I'm love to see it. I'm seeing it tonight. Really? Yeah. And I'm a huge fan of Willem Dafoe. I might need to have a drink before I go and see it. Yeah, when it's called Antichrist, you know it's not <laughs> it going to be... It sounds it's not a quiet... incredibly dark. So, can day five, we're all pretty exhausted. Do you have any tips for surviving the festival? Just keep drinking. Yes, that is the only <laughs> way forward. Constant access to alcohol, you'll be fine. Well, I was going to say, um, Laura and Graham, thank you very much for oh, talking to our, me. Oh, pleasure. And, thank uh, you so much. And, and thank we, you for holding love, the mic. We love Love Film, by the way. Yay.